everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are just having a really lazy day at home and I'm going to do a big batch cook for weaning food for Jackson. We've been weaning him a little bit for the past week, but it's time to get organized and actually make some purees and have things on hand that he can eat. This is everything I've bought today. We just literally went to our local farm shop, which is great because all of the food there is organic. Um, and I just know that it's not got any like nasty pesticides on it or anything like that. So I'm literally just gonna run through with you what I've got and then how I am going to cook it all and whiz it all up. Start out, I'll just do a bit of a weaning haul and show you what I've got for his very first foods. Obviously, we're just going into the second week that he has started weaning. So the first thing that we have got is Weetabix. This is a great first food. It is green all of the way and they just have it with whole milk or your baby's normal milk. And I've only given it to him warmed up so far. Um, also, just porridge, plain porridge oats are great. I think this is better than baby rice as well. I think baby rice tastes disgusting. Just buy yourself some normal porridge. It lasts for ages and then everyone can eat it anyway. For Jackson's very first foods, these are the fruits and veg that I have bought for him. We've got bananas, we've got broccoli, potatoes, avocado, carrots, pears, sweet potatoes, um, apples, and I like to buy the gala ones because they're not too strong. And we have got mango. And I've also just got a butternut squash, but I've already put it into the slow cooker. I think this is the easiest way to cook it. You just stick it in a slow cooker on high for three to four hours, and then you can just cut it up and puree it. That's how I cook the butternut squash. It's so simple, and I'll just whiz it up, and then I will put all of the foods that I cook into these ice trays. These are the Annabelle Carmel weaning ones, but any ice trays will do. It really doesn't have to be these ones. Um, and then once you have frozen them in their ice trays, all you have to do is pop them out into Ziploc bags and stick them in your freezer. And then when you need them, like at the beginning of each day, you could pull three ice cubes out once they're thawed, your baby can eat them. Yay. I think setting some time aside on like an afternoon to do a big batch cook is a much easier way to do it rather than trying to do it for each meal. If you can get someone to have the kids for a couple of hours and get this done, you will feel so much more organized and your baby will eat better foods as a result. The next one we're gonna cook is carrots. And all you do for carrots is peel and cut them up, steam them for 15 to 20 minutes on a steamer, and then puree them. Babies love carrots, they're really, really nice and sweet naturally, but if they need it to be even sweeter, you can mix apple with them. That's a really nice combination. The next two first foods that I'm going to cook are sweet potato and potato. So I've literally just bought baking potatoes and gigantic sweet potatoes. And the easiest way to cook these two is to just wash them, prick them with a fork, and put them in the oven for an hour or an hour and a half, how long it takes to make them tender. And then you can just puree them or mash them as you would normal potato. And these normally do need some whole milk added to them to make them nice and smooth for a baby of Jackson's age. You're getting tired. Broccoli is also a great first food, but I find it's quite a strong flavor for a little baby. So whilst you can just steam it up until it's tender, whiz it and give it to your baby, I like to steam this up and mix it with sweet potato or potato because I find my baby takes it easier. Um, so that is how I'm going to do the broccoli. Then onto apples. So as I mentioned, I like to buy gala apples because I think they're a really nice flavor. They're not too offensive for little mouths. So all you do for these is peel them, cut them and core them, boil them in boiling water for six to eight minutes or until they're tender and then whiz them up with a food processor and they're good to go. Pears are another great first food and Jackson has already tried them and absolutely loves them so I've got some more today. All you do for these is boil them in hot water for four to six minutes less than an apple because they can be quite ripe. So just boil them up for a little bit till they're tender and whiz them up. Mango is a great first food as well as papaya, but they didn't have it in my farm shop today. But I got some mango. It's a really, really easy one because you don't have to cook it. All you have to do is take the skin off, cut it up and whiz it in the food processor and you can freeze it or they can have it straight away. And then I wanted to show you two more foods that don't require any cooking when it comes to weaning 
And these ones aren't ones that you need to batch cook, you can just use them as and when. But I thought it was worth mentioning because they're such good ones. So the first one is bananas, which is pretty obvious. You could puree it if you want to, but you can easily mash them, even small enough for a baby of Jackson's age. Bananas are a great one for energy, potassium, we all know that, but they're also a really good one to mix with things like porridge to sweeten them up. And most babies treat bananas like it is a dessert. And then lastly, avocado. This is a really, really good one. It's full of healthy fats and proteins. I always find that when my babies eat avocado, they sleep better that night, so I don't think it's a coincidence. I think it's all of the good fats in the tummy. Um, so all you have to do with this one is just cut it up when you need it, mash it up, and then they can have it. Or if you want to have it as a finger food for them, cut it into quarters. Make sure you leave the skin on, or it will slide around everywhere, but they can hold a whole wedge of avocado and try and eat it like that. Um, but yeah, this is also a great one to mix with mashed up banana. If they don't like the taste of it, you can sweeten it up with some banana. I really wanted to show you this product as well. They are so, so clever. For convenience when you're going out and about, you can buy these pouches. I got these from the Small Human Company. And basically, they are just like your store-bought um, pouches, but you can fill them up from the bottom. They are Ziploc. So you fill them up with what you make at home yourself and then they are easy to take out with you. And then on the back you can write what is inside the pouch and when you actually made it so you know when it goes off. And it is BPA free, PVC free. Um, they're really, really cool. I just think it's so clever. It's so tempting to buy store-bought ones but they're not quite as good as the stuff that you can make yourself at home. So I just really wanted to show you those. Yeah, and that is it for this video. I just thought I would talk you through my batch cooking because that is what I'm doing today. I really hope you like this video. Subscribe for more weaning videos because I have loads more coming up and I will see you very soon. Bye.